Hello and welcome to Energy Talks. We are here this week at European Utilities Week and I'm joined by Leslie and Johan from Ferranti. Hi guys, welcome. Good morning. Thank Good you for morning. joining me today. Um, I just want to ask what your roles are at Ferranti and what your focus and the projects you guys are working on at the moment. Right, so I'm Leslie, uh, as you already said. I'm the product manager for Mecoms at Ferranti. Uh, so my role is mainly thinking about the future, the vision and the roadmap of our product. Johan? Hi, I'm Johan van der Kerkhove. So within Ferranti I'm responsible for uh, solutions, so helping customers, partners understand what we have to offer in the market and working together with uh, partners selling our, our product in customer care and building a metadata management space. Okay, fantastic. So what what is your focus in the market? What is Ferranti's focus in the market? What differentiates you from other, other software suppliers in the industry at the moment? Yeah, so I think uh, Ferranti is a, a Belgium-based company. We do a lot of work in, in Europe. So as I said, yeah, our product is, is targeted at customer care and billing, meter data management. So we work with, with water companies, competitive retailers and so on. And <clears throat> What we see in the market is the market is, is rapidly changing with, with the opening of the market. There's more competition. Customers are becoming more demanding and I think that's where, where our product plays into that. It's, it's more creative, flexible, innovative. So that's, that's where we target to, to differentiate. Okay. Yeah, I, th I think we can bring the, the robustness and, and the, the professionalism of the big ones but we're still small enough to offer that flexibility and agility that a lot of players in the market today are looking for. I suppose you could say that customer engagement might be the heart of your, your business yeah. model. Um, you know, how important, why should utilities place customer yeah. engagement so, at the heart of utilities transformation? Yeah, so what, what we see a bit is that uh, there, there, there's more customers have more and more an option of choice. Eh? What, what you used to have like in, in telco sector and, and a lot of competition and so on. And, and a lot of classic utilities are, are not used to customers being demanding, having this option of choice, um, having this customer service and, and, and so on. So what, what we see there is that, that you need to be able to, to offer the right flexibility and that you need to tap into that with engaging in your customer, the customer intimacy. There's also the multi-channel aspect. If you think about social media, a couple of years ago, that wasn't a big thing, but now if, if a company gets bad press on, on, on Facebook or Twitter and, and so on, so, so there's one trend on that customers are becoming more and more demanding. They can look things up on the internet, compare prices, compare services, that, that's one thing. And then the second thing that we see on this customer engagement is that the, the brand and the loyalty of the brand is becoming more and more important because uh, a, a utility company, it's difficult to, to only make a profit on, on the margin of the commodity. So they're trying to diversify and offer energy auditing services or perhaps leasing of solar panels or they come do the maintenance of your boiler and so on. So the, the, the range of offerings that they have is much more diverse and they need to make sure they engage with the customer, explain that to the customer, have the right interaction and so on. So it's really becoming um, yeah, the heart of a utility company. Yeah. So, so in that case, what would you identify as the most important steps towards an engagement yeah. strategy? Well, I think there are many steps you need to take. I think it's, it's first of all, it's about organizing your company to make sure you can deal with the challenges today's world offers. Mm. It means making sure that you have one view of the customer, mm. that you are one voice towards the customer when you engage, whether it be the traditional channels through email, telephone, or the new channels like social and, and chat and whatever. Make sure that's one department, one voice who gets the whole picture. Too often we see that it's different departments, different applications, two tones of voices talking to the customer. You want to get rid of that. So it's step one, make sure your organization is capable of dealing with that. Step two is then making sure that your IT systems can also cope with that. So that's an important second step. And then third, of course, you need to educate your people using the right tone of voice, not right customers, etc. Yeah, and I think adding to that, because the, the, the services that are offered are, are becoming more diverse and, and this one view is important eh? because 
if, if you do the billing for your customer, mm. but you also do the maintenance on their boiler, yeah. perhaps they, they, they have an in-home device showing them metering data and so on, <laughs> and you want to make sure that that if, if yeah, the customer calls in, that you have the total picture of all these processes yeah. and services that you're offering. And, and the second thing, you, you also want to make sure that it doesn't matter which channel they're using, yeah. that if I'm talking to the customer, or I'm chatting with the customer, or they posted something on Facebook or Twitter, that I, I have the 100% the view of what my customer is about, because otherwise they will be mm -hmm. upset because they're used to, to this type of service from, from other brands and lifestyle things that, that they have. So it's very important that, that the, the customer experience is the same. And a lot of utilities are, are struggling with that because they still have old legacy applications that weren't designed and, and built to do so. And, and that's where Ferranti with our, our Mecom's product differentiates. Okay. Adding to that is also the the fact that there's a lot of pressure on, on margin and revenue in utility. So it's also a challenge to make sure that for the customer, the engagement feels personal and intimate. Mm. Whereas on the other hand, you don't want to be spending too much time on it from a, from a retailer's perspective. So you need to make sure that a lot of the stuff is automated, but automated in a smart yeah. way so that it feels like personal without it actually involving a lot of your time. Okay, well, let's talk a little bit more about the product itself. So. What does Mecoms actually give and you know, how, how does it actually improve customer engagement? Well, in the core, we are a customer information system and meter data management solution. Mm -hmm. So we take care of all your basic needs like your invoicing and customer management. Uh -huh. On top of that, we also give you the right tools to engage with your customers. That includes several things like a self-service portal that is based completely on, on user experience. So making it easy for your users to interact with you through the self-service portal taking a lot of time away from your call center and your back office and enabling the customers to do stuff for themselves. We integrate with, with tools like Dynamic CRM that makes it very easy to set up campaigns, to set up uh, interaction, social engagement services and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So we, we actually take the core uh, necessities that you need as a company and have a layer around that to make it easy to engage on those topics <coughs> with your customers. Yeah, and I think per perhaps adding to that, because we're, we were talking about these, these utilities that, that have a challenge making a, a profit, so they need to be efficient. A cost to serve is a, is a big talk in, in utilities. But while we're saying that, the, the, the customer is becoming more demanding. So it's it, exactly as Leslie said, you, you, you need to tap into these different channels. But there's also the big challenge of if that increases your cost, you, you need to be efficient in this, these different channels. So that's why this, this fully integrated experience is important because if more customer service, more social and so on increases your cost, that's a big challenge. Eh? And that's where self-service and, and automation and, and, and process efficiency comes into play. Yeah. So if we're going to speak about you know, Mecom's R4, what does that product bring, bring to the table? Well, R4 is our uh, newest release that mm -hmm. will be launched in uh, quarter one, 2016. Okay. And it really takes that next step in, in that customer engagement that's becoming mm -hmm. so important. Mm -hmm. So uh, the, the completely redesigned and revamped self-service portal, uh, out-of-the-box integration with dynamic CRM, uh, as a service offering in, in particular geographies all over the world. And maybe, Johan, you want to expand on the software as a service? Yeah. I. I, I think there what, what we bring with our new release is that um, yeah, Microsoft is doing a lot of innovation eh? because uh, they, they invest in usability, user experience yeah. and things like that. And, and we're lifting on that with, with two elements. So one thing is as a service. So I, I was talking a bit about costs and efficiency and, and, and so on. And what, what we're doing for utilities is, is to make it easy for them to, to use our software in a cost efficient way. So our, our as a service offer is a fully pay as you go model that helps them to grow and scale. We take care of the infrastructure, we manage the infrastructure, their set up processes because um, I, I think the most important thing on, on this as a service is that um, customers don't want to do big projects anymore. It's not, not about 12 months or 18 months IT implementation time. They need flexibility because the market is changing. 
they're thinking on I need to launch a new product that shouldn't take three months and and that's where our as a service plays into because it's a, a business service it's, it's not about IT and technicality and the second thing which is a a big topic in our, our new release, tapping into to Microsoft innovation, is that uh, we're now fully integrated with Microsoft Dynamics CRM, which also plays very well in, in some of the social engagement and, and, and digital channels that we were talking about, because the, the customer interaction is, is quite different. And Ferranti, from a product perspective, we, we invest in our core capabilities and we lift on, on innovation that Microsoft is doing in, in, in customer interaction, different multi-channel experience and things like that. Yeah, I think with our new release, we are capable of giving uh, our targeted customers, like the commercial retailers, integrated utilities, a, a complete solution mm. that covers all the aspects and all the areas of business they're involved in without the need for customization and, and messing with the, the core of the system. We, we, we make sure that their back office processes can run stable and efficient, and we give them the flexibility on the front with dynamic CRM to make sure that they can be agile and play into new market trends. Okay, great, thank you so much. So, um, I suppose the kind of summary question that I like to ask my interviewees is what, what kind of advice would you give to those utilities looking for solutions today? Well, from my point of view, the advice I always give is like, don't expect an IT solution to solve all your problems. It can yeah. be an important step towards getting to a better place, but also think about your organization. Your organization needs to go together with your IT solution to become a better company. Yeah, I think what, what I would advise um, uh, utilities is that it's a bit, so as Les has said, it, it's a bit, it's component about organizations, products, and, and, and processes, so yeah. it's a combination. Now, obviously, when, when assessing vendors, I would say talk to existing customers. That's always the, 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 the best due diligence point to, to go into that. Um, if you're buying a standard product, people need to show it. If, if your vendor says, oh no, I can't demonstrate this and so on, yeah, let them show the, 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 the processes, that's very important. And I think the last thing is that it, it's an integrated world, more and more with applications in the cloud, different things and, and so on. So your vendor must be good in integrating different components in the system, so, so that, that's very important. But I, I think the key takeaway for me is if when utilities are, are selecting a new product, new strategy is, is talk to customers and, and, and get that out there because customers are, are the, the, the best references. Okay, exactly. fantastic. Okay, thank you so much for your time today um, and I hope you do enjoy the rest of the show. Um, please do join us at enterati.com for, for further interviews over the next two days. Thank you.